Hey, bro, so I'm just gonna get straight to it. Yo, like, I heard you worked at, like, Primark and all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yo, so I'd be working, like, I'm trying to not, like, dox myself and shit, so I would be working at, like, a fast food industry type John. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to, like, get to know, like, how do you, like, I don't want to say, like, speak game, like, yeah, kind of speak game with a customer, you feel me? While there's, like, a, like, I got a strict-ass manager on my ass, and, like, the fact that I work at a, like, restaurant, you feel me, like, uh, the fast food place, you got to be fast and, like, dish out orders like how'd you kind of like well let me tell you something yeah with the manager thing yeah yeah you think the mouthpiece happens when you hear a girl's voice on the walkie talkie shit and then she pulls up to the job to wear first of all the day i got hired at the job i already was positioning myself for my manager to fuck with me Mm-hmm. right so I, i'm gonna just tell you how limited y'all think mouthpiece is when I got hired and when I was meeting the manager and I was, I'm already was putting in a good repu- reputation with these people. I already was interacting with them respectfully, showing them my sense of humor. So when I, if I am flirting with a customer, I'm not even really flirting. It's just my, it's just, they know this is my charisma. This is my natural charm. This is how I, I just talk. They just notice the kind of person I am. Granted, uh-huh. okay. when I was at my job, a couple of my managers would have to stop me if they saw me on the floor. Said, why are you over here? You go why because so I'm over there talking to some chick, I'm over here, whatever, right? Now as long as I was at the register and the customer was in front of me and they knew I was up to something, they would really mind their business, but it would still be that mm, I know you I know yeah, like you see what I'm saying? You know how they like look yeah, over yeah, yeah. yeah. I get you, I get but you. they I already had a relationship with them, so they, they wouldn't step on my toes. Mm-hmm. Because I, we were already like kind of like friends. They were still my boss, but we were like your charisma beats. Your charisma allows you to break rules. That's the most blatant way I could put it. When you're charismatic, you can break rules. Just, I I'm not even gonna try to like, over explain this. When you're charismatic, you can break rules. You don't follow yeah, rules. Yeah, I'd be like that, but follow. like I'm gonna be honest. Like I, some shit happened to me like this, and like I was like, cause, cause like I see like we're gonna stop, 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 stop. What's up, stop? If somebody clipped the last eight seconds and played every word you said in the last eight seconds, you have said nothing. Okay, sorry, my bad, because my thoughts are, like, all over the place and shit, so... So slow down. Take your time. All right. So... All right, all right. So, like... There you go again. <laughs> Yo, I gotta, I gotta think, I gotta think. Y'all waste gotta, words. Gotta... Y'all, I'm trying to get y'all to stop wasting words. Imagine, okay, let's, all right, let me, before you go into your next thought, let's, I'm gonna just throw some imagination. Imagine every sentence you said was intentional, was clear, clear meaning, understandable to the person you're talking to, Mm -hmm. concise meaning, every word that you use builds the point that you're making. So your sentences, every sentence you said was clear and concise. Do you understand the conversation? the kind of conversations you would have. If you had 10 words, 10 words to make an impact or an interaction, you wouldn't be ready to use 10 words because you're used to saying like, 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 you're not even, you're not even practicing being aware of wasting words or wasting money or wasting time or wait. So you're so wasteful with your decisions, your words, your thoughts. So all I'm pointing out here, y'all, is anybody in chat, Practice being more concise. Practice, like, less. Pra- practice being direct. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I want to point out here. You just said eight eight whole words in days, eight seconds to talk. And it was <laughs> like, 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 so like, so like, when I'm in it, like, yeah. You could have painted a whole picture in that time, bro. Every time I come into work, my manager is cock blocking me. And I'd have been like, damn, for real? Like, like you could have created a whole sentence in that same amount of time. I will continue. Yeah, so when I work, like the main reason I apply to the job is for like, I practice my language skills because I'm heavy into linguistics and all that shit. So when I right. see a customer pulls up and they be like, they have like that thick accent, you feel me? I'm like, hey, where are you from and shit? You be telling me like, I'm from I would Colorado. do that a lot with my customers. I would I would say, well, you know, where are you from? And then yeah, they yeah, yeah. found out they speak Spanish. So they like, oh, tu hablas espanol? And then this is yeah, already yeah. creating. For that game, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, all that conversation. And my manager pulled me up to the sign and she's like yo have you seen you be talking to like all these customers and shit like like you gotta stop doing that less and less i'm like i'm like what for like like what's the problem with that motherfucking she's like 
to like if the other employees see you talking too much and all that basically cock bucket is like they're gonna get like influence and all that bullshit so i'm like damn okay you know why my manager wouldn't have been able to say that to me why not only if respectfully because we run a business only if let's say the lines were long and every time i'm talking to a customer i'm dragging the line out and it's making the business run slower I understand that because I put business before any type of politic and I want to do, right? Mm -hmm. So if, if that was the logic or that was the real reasoning, then I would consider that. And then if I had a goal, we're talking, I never, I never dealt with this. So I'm not even telling you what I had to do because my, my, my manager would have never, my manager knew I was just being me. <laughs> so you can't stop me from being me. They just know it. You, you can't, you can't put a saddle on a Mustang. You can't put a saddle on a Mustang, man. So... With that being said, you gonna listen to what she tell you to do? Nah. Is that what you're saying? Nah. So what are you I'm saying? I'm still gonna go at it. I'm still gonna go at it. My ass gonna get fired, but who cares, bro? I got that XP from that. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get fired. You're not gonna get fired, bro. And then even then. Othello, I appreciate the 12 months. Even then, like. If I'm fired for having good customer service, like, fuck you. I can get any job anywhere. And guess what? That's why I got to break rules. Do you understand that? Did, were you what here? You so rules? if you was here when I talked about the Primark thing, right? And I, and I talked about how literally people would come in and record my name on the wall. Because we had this, we had this system where every week. Um, so when you worked at the register. We had a lot of registers, a lot of employees, and the big ass. This was the biggest Primark on the East Coast. Like this Primark, we had a lot of registers. If if let's say they would have, they would call them tills or the registers, right? Blue tills, orange tills, and so we, let's say it would be ten in orange, and like ten to fifteen of us in the in the blue side. A lot of people in registers. What I'm saying. You could have, you could give out like. They, on the receipt, they could leave you a review and put your name in it, right? Yeah. At the end of every week, they would print these reviews and put them on the wall. My name was all over the wall. And I showed y'all that video where that girl came into work one day. Why is this boy... And I was messing with her back then. She was one of the girls I was messing with. So she was like sending to me on something like, yo, why is your name all on the wall? Like, oh, yeah, to, I know what you're talking about. I showed y'all that video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told y'all this, but I remember that one of the girls like took a video and was like, yo, why every week your name on the wall? Customers would willingly go out of their way and say, Ty was this, Ty was that, Ty was blah, blah, blah. This is the interactions we having. Not only with that, I would tell y'all how I would sell the bags on top of them. How can my manager tell me to shut up if I'm if I'm benefiting the company? This is why I'm telling you, positioning matters. The same personality she complained about is the same, or she would have a problem with, is the same personality that was creating good rapport with the company and the customer experience. So even if this person who superseded my position tried to criticize what I'm doing, guess what? I will refer back to the company because they're, the company is bigger than them. But I just gave you too much game. I, I just told you how to be tactical and use power under power. So maybe I just gave you too much, but I think bigger. So what, what's, your, what's your last question? I ain't got no question, but you telling me basically, so I gotta go to the headquarters and be like yeah fire no no why, why would i have to go to the headquarters <laughs> the headquarters would come That's... to me do you know okay, one of those wow. days the um because primark is like a, a european company mm -hmm. they said one of those days um because i never worked on the weekday one of the days like one of the top execs or something came because this is one of the biggest stores they made, they made they still told us some numbers they make like 14 million on socks or something like that when i was getting hired and, and through the interview like the not the interview but the uh you already got hired, but they walking you through everything. That process. They was telling like, yo, this is how much we make from socks. This is how much we make from shirts, children's clothes, women's section, men's section, uh, merchandise or, or, or cups and brands and all that. And this, so this, this was a very profitable store, big store, et cetera, right? One of the execs came over there, visited to check the store out, right? And they saw my name all over there. I was like, who is this guy, Ty? I don't have to go to headquarters. Headquarters comes to me. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Positioning. So let's say I had been at work that day. They see my name all over the wall. They walk around the store checking out, talking to employees because they're doing it on some like, let's see how they, they, they're trying to vet the store and see how it's ran, right? 
Yeah. That's what happens when a big, a bigger like top exec comes. You know, they clean the store up and everything. I said they had walked around and seen my name tag on. They're like, Ty, nice to meet you. And guess what I'm meeting them with? Guess what I'm me- meeting them with? With uh-huh. the same personality which blew those customers away. So I'm already knowing this is. Per- so I go, like, oh hey, how you doing? My name is Todd. Nice to meet you. Are you, are you you work for the company? Like you one of the big? Oh wow, that must be that must be amazing. You all the way over here in the states. How you like it? I'm already bread and butter in the conversation. Already. I'll give you an example. I was at the bank. This was like a year ago. And the fucking, uh, I think, I forget dude's position. He was like the senior wealth advisor or, or um, we was talking about credit or something like that. I forgot what he was talking about, but he, he had more advice than credit. And he found out what I did. And we already had more rapport and relationship built because I told him like, hey, this is what I do. You know, I do content creation, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yo, my son. My son is into that, or my son is doing something, or my son wants to do this, and blah, 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 but I was trying to tell him, blah, 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 blah. So I, I say, you know what? Like, you know, I, I, I I'll give him some advice. I'll help him out, blah, blah, blah. This, any benefit or skill that this man has in his position of power that can benefit me in any way, all through this conversation, we've now found out, and, and it's now positioned me in so many different ways, since we're a different you know, um, doors could get opened and different cards could get pulled that the average customer is just coming in. They might even have more money in the bank account or less than me or whatever. But because I'm talking, I'm positioning, I'm I'm creating opportunities, I'm offering some out, they come back to me as well. 